Proverbs 19 through 23. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for just providing your word abundantly. There's so much to discover and learn and understand. And I'm grateful for the Holy Spirit just showing us truths as we read through your word. May everyone be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is better to be poor and honest than to be a fool and dishonest. Zeal without knowledge is not good. A person who moves too quickly may go the wrong way. People ruin their lives by their own foolishness, and then they are angry at the Lord. Wealth makes many friends. Poverty drives them away. A false witness will not go unpunished, nor will a liar escape. Many beg favors from a prince. Everyone is the friend of a person who gives gifts. If the relatives of the poor despise them, how much more will their friends avoid them? The poor call after them, but they are gone. To acquire wisdom is to love oneself. People who cherish understanding will prosper. A false witness will not go unpunished, and a liar will be destroyed. It isn't right for a fool to live in luxury or for a slave to rule over princes. People with good sense restrain their anger. They earn esteem by overlooking wrongs. The king's anger is like a lion's roar, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish child is a calamity to a father, a nagging wife a noise like a constant dripping. Parents can provide their sons with an inheritance of houses and wealth, but only the Lord can give an understanding wife. A lazy person sleeps soundly and goes hungry. Keep the commandments and keep your life. Despising them leads to death. If you help the poor, you are lending to the Lord, and he will repay you. Discipline your children while there is hope. If you don't, you will ruin their lives. Short-tempered people must pay their own penalty. If you rescue them once, you will have to do it again. Get all the advice and instruction you can and be wise the rest of your life. You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Loyalty makes a person attractive, and it is better to be poor than dishonest. Fear of the Lord gives life, security, and protection from harm. Some people are so lazy that they won't even lift a finger to feed themselves. If you punish a mocker, the simple-minded will learn a lesson. If you reprove the wise, they will be all the wiser. Children who mistreat their father or chase away their mother are a public disgrace and an embarrassment. If you stop listening to instruction, my child, you have turned your back on knowledge. A corrupt Witness makes a mockery of justice. The mouth of the wicked gulps down evil. Mockers will be punished and the backs of fools will be beaten. Wine produces mockers. Liquor leads to brawls. Whoever is led astray by drink cannot be wise. The king's fury is like a lion's roar. To ruse his anger is to risk your life. Avoiding a fight is a mark of honor. Only fools insist on quarreling. If you are too lazy to plow in the right season, you will have no food at the harvest. Though good advice lies deep within a person's heart, the wise will draw it out. Many will say they are loyal friends, but who can find one who is really faithful? The godly walk with integrity. Blessed are their children after them. When a king judges, he carefully weighs all the evidence, distinguishing the bad from the good. Who can say, I have cleansed my heart. I am pure and free from sin. The Lord despises double standards of every kind. 
Even children are known by the way they act, whether their conduct is pure and right. Ears to hear and eyes to see, both are gifts from the Lord. If you love sheep, mm -mm. if you love sleep, you will end in poverty. Keep your eyes open and there will be plenty to eat. The buyer haggles over the price saying, it's worthless, then brags about getting a bargain. Wise speech is rarer and more valuable than golden rubies. Be sure to get collateral from anyone who guarantees the debt of a stranger. Get a deposit if someone guarantees the debt of a foreigner. Stolen bread tastes sweet, but it turns to gravel in the mouth. Plans succeed through good counsel. Don't go to war without the advice of others. A gossip tells secrets, so don't hang around with someone who talks too much. If you curse your father or mother, the lamp of your life will be snuffed out. An inheritance obtained early in life is not a blessing in the end. Don't say, I will get even for this wrong. Wait for the Lord to handle the matter. The Lord despises double standards. He is not pleased by dishonest scales. How can we understand the road we travel? It is the Lord who directs our steps. It is dangerous to make a rash promise to God before counting the cost. A wise king finds the wicked, lays them out like wheat, then runs the crushing wheel over them. The Lord's searchlight penetrates the human spirit, exposing every hidden motive. Unfailing love and faithfulness protect the king. His throne is made secure through love. The glory of the young is their strength. The gray hair of experience is the splendor of the old. Physical punishment cleanses away evil. Such discipline purifies the heart. The king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He turns it wherever he pleases. People may think they are doing what is right, but the Lord examines the heart. The Lord is more pleased when we do what is just and right than when we give him sacrifices. Haughty eyes, a proud heart, and evil actions are all sin. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Wealth created by lying is a vanishing mist in a deadly trap. Because the wicked refuse to do what is just, their violence boomerangs and destroys them. The guilty walk a crooked path, the innocent travel a straight road. It is better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a contentious wife in a lovely home. Evil people love to harm others. Their neighbors get no mercy from them. A simpleton can learn only by seeing mockers punished. A wise person learns from instruction. The righteous one knows what is going on in the homes of the wicked. He will bring the wicked to disaster. Those who shut their ears to the cries of the poor will be ignored in their own time of need. A secret gift calms anger. A secret bribe pacifies fury. Justice is a joy to the godly, but it causes dismay among evildoers. The person who strays from common sense will end up in the company of the dead. Those who love pleasure become poor. Wine and luxury are not the way to riches. Sometimes the wicked are punished to save the godly and the treacherous for the upright. It is better to live alone in the desert than with a crabby complaining wife. The wise have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. Whoever pursues godliness and unfailing love will find life, godliness, and honor. The wise conquer the city of the strong and level the fortress in which they trust. If you keep your mouth shut, you will stay out of trouble. Mockers are proud and haughty. They act 
packed with boundless arrogance. The desires of lazy people will be their ruin, for their hands refuse to work. They are always greedy for more, while the godly love to give. God loathes the sacrifice of an evil person, especially when it is brought with ulterior motives. A false witness will be cut off, but an attentive witness will be allowed to speak. The wicked put up a bold front, but the upright proceed with care. Human plans, no matter how wise or well advised, cannot stand against the Lord. The horses are prepared for battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Choose a good reputation over great riches, for being held in high esteem is better than having silver or gold. The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord made them both. A prudent person foresees the danger ahead and takes precaution. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. True humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honor, and long life. The deceitful walk a thorny, treacherous road. Whoever values life will stay away. Teach your children to choose the right path, and when they are older, they will remain upon it. Just as the rich rule the poor, so the borrower is the servant to the lender. Those who plant seeds of injustice will harvest disaster, and their reign of terror will end. Blessed are those who are generous because they feed the poor. Throw out the mocker and fighting quarrels and insults will disappear. Anyone who loves a pure heart and gracious speech is the king's friend. The Lord preserves knowledge, but he ruins the plans of the deceitful. The lazy person is full of excuses, saying, if I go outside, I might meet a lion in the street and be killed. The mouth of an immoral woman is a deep pit. Those living under the Lord's displeasure will fall into it. A youngster's heart is filled with foolishness, but discipline will drive it away. A person who gets ahead by oppressing the poor or by showering gifts on the rich will end in poverty. 30 Sayings of the Wise Listen to the words of the wise. Apply your heart to my instruction. For it is good to keep these sayings deep within yourself, always ready on your lips. I am teaching you today, yes, you, so you will trust in the Lord. I have written 30 sayings for you, filled with advice and knowledge. In this way, you may know the truth and bring an accurate report to those who sent you. Do not rob the poor because they are poor or exploit the needy in court. For the Lord is their defender. He will injure anyone who injures them. Keep away from angry, short-tempered people or you will learn to be like them and endanger your soul. Do not co-sign another person's note or put up a guarantee for someone else's loan. If you can't pay it, even your bed will be snatched from under you. Do not steal your neighbor's property by moving the ancient boundary markers set up by your ancestors. Do you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than ordinary people. When dining with a ruler, pay attention to what is put before you. If you are a big eater, put a knife in your throat and don't desire all the delicacies. Deception may be involved. Don't weary yourself trying to get rich. Why waste your time? For riches can disappear as though they had the wings of a bird. Don't eat with people who are stingy. Don't desire their delicacies. Eat and drink, they say, but they don't mean it. They are always thinking about how much it cost. You will vomit up the delicious food they serve, and you will have to pay back your words of appreciation for their kindness. 
don't waste your breath on fools, for they will despise the wisest advice. Don't steal the land of defenseless orphans by moving the ancient boundary markers, for their Redeemer is strong. He himself will bring their charges against you. Commit yourself to instruction. Attune your ears to hear words of knowledge. Don't fail to correct your children. They won't die if you spank them. Physical discipline may well save them from death. My child, how I will rejoice if you become wise. Yes, my heart will thrill when you speak what is right and just. Don't envy sinners, but always continue to fear the Lord, for surely you have a future ahead of you. Your hope will not be disappointed. My child, listen and be wise. Keep your heart on the right course. Do not carouse with drunkards and gluttons, for they are on their way to poverty. Too much sleep clothes the person with rags. Listen to your father who gave you life and don't despise your mother's experience when she is old. Get the truth and don't ever sell it. Also get wisdom, discipline, and discernment. The father of godly children has cause for joy. What a pleasure it is to have wise children. So give your parents joy. May she who gave you birth be happy. Oh, my son, give me your heart. May your eyes delight in my ways of wisdom. A prostitute is a deep pit. An adulterous woman is treacherous. She hides and waits like a robber, looking for another victim who will be unfaithful to his wife. Who has anguish? Who has sorrow? Who is always fighting? Who is always complaining? Who has unnecessary bruises? Who has bloodshot eyes? It is the one who spends long hours in the taverns trying out new drinks. Don't let the sparkle and smooth taste of wine deceive you, for in the end it bites like a poisonous serpent. It stings like a viper. You will see hallucinations and you will say crazy things. You will stagger like a sailor tossed at sea, clinging to a swaying mast. And you will say, they hit me, but I didn't feel it. I didn't even know it when they beat me up. But when will I wake so I can have another drink? Oh.